Mike Tyson's Early Life Michael Gerard Tyson was born in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, New York City, on June 30, 1966. He has an older brother named Rodney, born in 1961, and had an older sister named Denise, who died of a heart attack at age 24 in February 1990. Tyson's mother, born in Charlottesville, Virginia, was described as a promiscuous woman who might have been a prostitute. Tyson's biological father is listed as a humble cab driver, who was from Jamaica, on his birth certificate, but the man Tyson had known as his father was a pimp named Jimmy Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick was from Greertown, North Carolina, a predominantly black neighborhood that was annexed by the city of Charlotte, where he was one of the neighborhood's top baseball players. Kirkpatrick married and had a son, Tyson's half-brother Jimmy Lee Kirkpatrick, who would help to integrate Charlotte High School football in 1965. In 1959, Jimmy Kirkpatrick left his family and moved to Brooklyn, where he met Tyson's mother, Lorna Mae Smith Tyson. Kirkpatrick frequented pool halls, gambled and hung out on the streets. My father was just a regular street guy caught up in the street world, Tyson said. Kirkpatrick abandoned the Tyson family around the time Mike was born, leaving Tyson's mother to care for the children on her own. Kirkpatrick died in 1992. The family lived in Bedford Stuyvesant until their financial burdens necessitated a move to Brownsville when Tyson was 10 years old. Throughout his childhood, Tyson lived in and around neighborhoods with a high rate of crime. According to an interview in details, his first fight was with a bigger youth who had pulled the head off one of Tyson's pigeons. Tyson was repeatedly caught committing petty crimes and fighting those who ridiculed his high-pitched voice and lisp. By the age of 13, he had been arrested 38 times. He ended up at the Tryon School for Boys in Johnstown, New York. Tyson's emerging boxing ability was discovered there by Bobby Stewart, a juvenile detention center counselor and former boxer. Stewart considered Tyson to be an outstanding fighter and trained him for a few months before introducing him to boxing manager and trainer Cuz D'Amato. Tyson dropped out of high school as a junior. He was later awarded an honorary doctorate in Humane Letters from Central State University in 1989. Kevin Rooney also trained Tyson, and he was occasionally assisted by Teddy Atlas, although Atlas was dismissed by D'Amato when Tyson was 15. Rooney eventually took over all training duties for the young fighter. Tyson's mother died when he was 16, leaving him in the care of D'Amato, who would become his legal guardian. Tyson later said, I never saw my mother happy with me and proud of me for doing something. She only knew me as being a wild kid running the streets, coming home with new clothes that she knew I didn't pay for. I never got a chance to talk to her or know about her. Professionally, it has no effect, but it's crushing emotionally and personally. Nicknamed Iron Mike and Kid Dynamite in his early career, and later known as the baddest man on the planet, Tyson is regarded as one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. He reigned as the undisputed world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990. Tyson won his first 19 professional fights by knockout, 12 of them in the first round. Claiming his first belt at 20 years, 4 months, and 22 days old, Tyson holds the record as the youngest boxer ever to win a heavyweight title. He was the first heavyweight boxer to simultaneously hold the WBA, WBC and IBF titles, as well as the only heavyweight to unify them in succession. The following year, Tyson became the lineal champion when he knocked out Michael Spinks in 91 seconds of the first round. In 1990, Tyson was knocked out by underdog Buster Douglas in one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. In 1992, Tyson was convicted of rape and sentenced to six years in prison, although he was released on parole after three years. After his release in 1995, he engaged in a series of comeback fights, regaining the WBA and WBC titles in 1996 to join Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali, Tim Witherspoon, Evander Holyfield and George Foreman as the only men in boxing history to have regained a heavyweight championship after losing it. After being stripped of the WBC title in the same year, Tyson lost the WBA title to Evander Holyfield by an 11th round stoppage. Their 1997 rematch ended when Tyson was disqualified for biting Holyfield's ears, one bite notoriously being strong enough to remove a portion of his right ear. In 2002, Tyson fought for the world heavyweight title, losing by knockout to Lennox Lewis. Tyson was known for his ferocious and intimidating boxing style as well as his controversial behavior inside and outside the ring, which he explained was inspired by Sonny Liston, a boxer who is widely regarded as the most intimidating man in the history of boxing. With a knockout-to-win percentage of 88%, he was ranked 16th on the Ring Magazine's list of 100 Greatest Punchers of All Time, and first on ESPN's list of the hardest hitters in heavyweight history.
Sky Sports described him as, perhaps the most ferocious fighter to step into a professional ring. He has been inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame and the World Boxing Hall of Fame. Marriages and Children. Tyson resides in Seven Hills, Nevada. He has been married three times, and has seven children, one deceased, with three women. In addition to his biological children, Tyson includes his second wife's oldest daughter as one of his own. Tyson married actress Robin Givens on February 7, 1988, at Holy Angels Catholic Church during a traditional ceremony in Chicago. Givens was known at the time for her role on the sitcom Head of the Class. Tyson's marriage to Givens was especially tumultuous, with allegations of violence, spousal abuse, and mental instability on Tyson's part. Matters came to a head when Tyson and Givens gave a joint interview with Barbara Walters on the ABC TV news magazine show 2020th in September 1988, in which Givens described life with Tyson as, torture, pure hell, worse than anything I could possibly imagine. Givens also described Tyson as, manic depressive, which was later confirmed by doctors, on national television while Tyson looked on with an intent and calm expression. A month later, Givens announced that she was seeking a divorce from the allegedly abusive Tyson, with the two officially separating on February 14, 1989. According to the book Fire and Fear, the inside story of Mike Tyson, Tyson admitted that he punched Givens and stated, that was the best punch I've ever thrown in my entire life. Tyson claimed that the book was filled with inaccuracies. Tyson and Givens had no children, but she reported having had a miscarriage. Tyson claimed that she was never pregnant and only used that to get him to marry her. During their marriage, the couple lived in a mansion in Bernardsville, New Jersey. Tyson's second marriage was to Monica Turner from April 19, 1997, to January 14, 2003. At the time of the divorce filing, Turner worked as a pediatric resident at Georgetown University Medical Center in Washington, D.C. She is the sister of Michael Steele, the former lieutenant governor of Maryland and former Republican National Committee chairman. Turner filed for divorce from Tyson in January 2002, claiming that he committed adultery during their five-year marriage, an act that has neither been forgiven nor condoned. The couple had two children, son Amir and Ramsey who self-identifies as non-binary. On May 25, 2009, Tyson's four-year-old daughter Exodus was found by her seven-year-old brother Miguel unconscious and tangled in a cord, dangling from an exercise treadmill. The child's mother, Sol Sochil, untangled her, administered CPR and called for medical attention. Tyson, who was in Las Vegas at the time of the incident, traveled back to Phoenix to be with her. She died of her injuries on May 26, 2009. Eleven days after his daughter's death, Tyson wed for the third time, to longtime girlfriend Lekia, Kiki Spicer, age 32, exchanging vows on Saturday, June 6, 2009, in a short, private ceremony at the La Bella Wedding Chapel at the Las Vegas Hilton. They have two children, daughter Milan and son Morocco. Religious Beliefs Raised as a Catholic, Tyson has stated that he converted to Islam before entering prison and that he made no efforts to correct what was reported in the media although it was falsely reported that he converted to Islam during his time in prison and adopted the Muslim name Malik Abdul Aziz, some sources reported as Malik Shabazz. Tyson never changed his given name to an Islamic one, despite the rumors. In November 2013, Tyson stated, The more I look into the churches and mosques for God, the more I start seeing the devil, but, just a month later, in a December 2013 interview with Fox News, Tyson said that he is very grateful to be a Muslim and that he needs Allah in his life. In the same interview Tyson talked about his progress with sobriety and how being in the company of good people has made him want to be a better and more humble person. He first completed the Islamic pilgrimage Umrah in July 2010 and more recently in December 2022 accompanied by DJ Khaled, a Palestinian-American Muslim. Early Career Tyson made his professional debut as an 18-year-old on March 6, 1985, in Albany, New York. He defeated Hector Mercedes via first-round TKO. He had 15 bouts in his first year as a professional. Fighting frequently, Tyson won 26 of his first 28 fights by KO or TKO, 16 of those came in the first round. The quality of his opponents gradually increased to journeyman fighters and borderline contenders, like James Tillis, David Jocko, Jesse Ferguson, Mitch Green, and Marvis Frazier. His win streak attracted media attention and Tyson was billed as the next great heavyweight champion. D'Amato died in November 1985, relatively early into Tyson's professional career, and some speculate that his death was the catalyst to many of the troubles Tyson was to experience as his life and career progressed. Rise up the ranks. 
Tyson's first nationally televised bout took place on February 16, 1986, at Houston Fieldhouse in Troy, New York, against journeyman heavyweight Jesse Ferguson, and was carried by ABC Sports. Tyson knocked down Ferguson with an uppercut in the fifth round that broke Ferguson's nose. During the sixth round, Ferguson began to hold and clinch Tyson in an apparent attempt to avoid further punishment. After admonishing Ferguson several times to obey his commands to box, the referee finally stopped the fight near the middle of the sixth round. The fight was initially ruled a win for Tyson by disqualification DQ, of his opponent. The ruling was adjusted to a win by technical knockout TKO, after Tyson's corner protested that a DQ win would end Tyson's string of knockout victories, and that a knockout would have been the inevitable result. In July, after recording six more knockout victories, Tyson fought former world title challenger Marvis Frazier in Glens Falls, New York, on another ABC Sports broadcast. Tyson won easily, charging at Frazier at the opening bell and hitting him with two consecutive uppercuts, the second of which knocked Frazier unconscious 30 seconds into the fight. Retirement. On June 11, 2005, Tyson quit before the start of the seventh round in a close bout against journeyman Kevin McBride. In the 2008 documentary Tyson, he stated that he fought McBride for a payday, that he did not anticipate winning, that he was in poor physical condition and fed up with taking boxing seriously. After losing three of his last four fights, Tyson said he would quit boxing because he felt he had lost his passion for the sport. In 2000 Tyson dismissed everyone who was working for him and enlisted new accountants, who prepared a statement showing he started the year $3.3 million in debt but earned $65.7 million. In August 2007, Tyson pleaded guilty to drug possession and driving under the influence in an Arizona court, which stemmed from an arrest in December where authorities said Tyson, who has a long history of legal contentions, admitted to using cocaine that day and to being addicted to the drug. In his 2013 autobiography Undisputed Truth, Tyson admitted to using the urine of his then-wife Monica Turner to pass doping tests. He was married to Turner from 1997 to 2003. He also used his infant's urine for the same purpose. Return. In March 2024, it was announced that Tyson would be making his ring return against Jake Paul in a heavyweight bout on July 20, 2024, at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. About Mike Tyson House. The legendary former professional boxer, resides in a Mediterranean-style mansion located in the Seven Hills gated golf course community in Henderson, Las Vegas. Tyson purchased this home in 2015 for a relatively modest sum of $2.50 million. Despite his immense earnings during his boxing career, over $400 million, financial challenges led him to declare bankruptcy in 2003, leaving him with substantial debt. The house spans an impressive 10,400 square feet and sits on nearly an acre of land. It features six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The estate includes two casitas, one of which is a full apartment, amenities abound including a media room, a wine cellar, and two grandmaster suites, one on each floor. The outdoor space boasts a disappearing edge swimming pool, a spa, an outdoor kitchen, and an expansive covered patio. The interior showcases Italian-style design elements, such as custom iron railings, arched doorways, coffered ceilings, and floor-to-ceiling windows, marble flooring and a marble staircase add elegance to the home. The gourmet kitchen features Thermidor stainless steel appliances, a large island with a breakfast bar, and custom cabinetry. Despite its considerable size, this mansion doesn't scream opulence like some celebrity homes that now cost around $20 million. Tyson's journey from boxing stardom to financial challenges has left its mark on his real estate choices.